hello friends welcome back and in this video tutorial i am going to show you another technique to create equal height column with fluid width okay so first of all let me show you what is the problem that we are going to solve i am starting off from previous video uh, so if you haven't watched that video uh, i have explained this concept in previous video you should watch that and then come again and watch this video so let me first delete these properties from here so you can see that the problem is that we haven't any equal height columns here so we want all these columns to be of equal height to create that i am going to use some cool css3 properties that will let you create equal height columns which will be supported in all modern browsers and prior to ie9 and above okay so let me delete these these row overflow hidden okay and also let's delete this property too so you can see that we have three rows and these are represented by this structure you can see that there is a section element and inside it we have three divs which represent these three rows now we want to create them like a column so first of all i am going to select the or target the parent element which is our row and let's uh, set its display property to flex boom you can see that we have created our three column layouts with equal height and it is fluid and responsive you can change the viewport size to almost any size you wish okay so this is very effective way to create three column layout or any multi column layouts using flex and it's very easy by using this single property so now let's add some vendor prefixes to take care about our older browsers so first of all i gonna write display then webkit then i'll write flex for chrome browser and let's write pre vendor prefix for mozilla so moz flex and let's write for our M, uh, IE browser so I'll write MS and then flex box this time we have to write flex box for internet browsers internet explorer browser so the real benefit of using the flex to create this type of layouts uh, is that you can easily move the columns from one place to another or change the source order of these columns visually okay so let me show you what i am talking about i want this column to be the last column in this row so i can just go ahead and target the second column by writing div nth child and second and i will just go ahead and write a order property and change it to the last by writing order second okay now i want this column to be second column so i can do that easily by without changing the actual code so i can write first child and here let me change its color to white oh sorry let me change its color to white by writing white so that we can e easily differentiate and i will just go ahead and write order first you can see that we have now changed the source order of these columns without even actually changing this structure so that's the real advantage of using flexbox okay so bye bye take care and in the next video i'll show you another technique so see you in next video